Hello and welcome to a Geeky Bit bonus. We're going to be talking about local talk slash Apple talk bridges. So what in the world is that? Well, bridges are simply where you take two or more networks and bridge them together. It used to refer to joining two types of networks, but in more modern eras, it could even mean joining two of the same type of network topologies. For us though, our network bridge will join the Apple talk slash local talk network that runs over serial to the the Ethernet network that more modern Macs use. And maybe we'll even be able to use TCP IP over Apple Talk. So here is what we need. We aren't going to be using a dedicated hardware device as I have a lot of LCs lying around and I have bought a LC network card for about $11. So it was cheaper than a pure hardware solution. So first we need the LC obviously, next we need the network card. And while the software used to be downloadable from Apple, it has been deprecated so it's no longer available. So you're responsible for finding your own source of it, but there's plenty of sites that have it still. With all of that said, let's check out our new bridge device. So as you can see here, it doesn't have much RAM and it doesn't need it, that's why. I only happen to have four megabytes installed. So what we do is we open up control panel and then go to local talk bridge. And as you can see, this is pretty much what we have to do to turn it on. We click turn it on and set it to public. Okay, now let's take a look at the two devices we're going to get to talk to each other. A Macintosh LC2 and an iMac. Of course, you might recognize this as my LCD iMac. Now, if we look at the LC2, we'll see right there is the network share from the iMac. Now, looking at the LCD iMac, you can see there's the LC2. Okay, now that we've attached a drive from the LC2, we are going to copy over Wolfenstein 3D. So it's going to take about three to five minutes here. I'm going to speed it up, of course, so you don't have to sit through all that. Okay, we're playing Wolfenstein 3D, and it is buttery smooth. Of course, Wolfenstein on the LC2 is more of a slideshow. So here's some thoughts. I'm happy I got this to work, as now my Apple Talk and Ethernet networks can talk to each other. And the best part is, I might even be able to use TCP IP over Apple Talk, and that would be really exciting. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And if so, feel free to click that like button. And if you aren't subscribed so already, feel free to do so as well. And if you'd like to get notifications of future videos, click that bell button.